Hi everybody. I had a problem come up when I was teaching a Microsoft Visio course yesterday, and I thought I'd go ahead and record a video to show the solution to this problem. Now here's the issue. I'm about to bring in a new shape into the org chart over here to the right. Now the org chart right now works perfectly and all the connectors are perfectly straight lines. But when I bring in this rounded corner rectangle over on the left hand side, what you're going to notice is that it reroutes the connectors. So as I place it too close to this connector, the connector bends and goes around the shape. Now what I was hoping for is the ability to overlap a rectangle on top of the connector and not have the connector go around it. Now we can do this, but what we need to be able to do is actually go up to the developer tab at the top of the screen. And you'll notice the developer tab is hidden by default. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift this rectangle back out of the way and go up and bring the developer tab up. To do this, I go to the ribbon at the top of the screen, I right click on the ribbon, and in right clicking you'll see customize the ribbon is one of your selections. So in here there's a developer option, I simply select it and click the checkbox and click OK, and now I have a developer tab available to me at the top of the screen right after the view tab. Now there are a bunch of options, but notice the shape design options. One of them includes this thing called behavior. And when I go into behavior, there is a tab up at the top of the screen that's going to allow me to affect the way that placing shapes affects everything else. So as you can see here, it says, let Visio decide. And I don't want that to happen. Instead, I'm going to use the drop down menu and I'm going to select the possibility here that says, don't route around this thing. Hit OK. And now, when I bring this shape in, it doesn't route it around. That's perfect. Now, of course, the problem is that what I'm doing right now is affecting only this shape. So if I go over to my stencil on the left, grab another rounded corner rectangle and bring it in, it still routes around that one. So I need to make this as reusable as possible. The solution is to make a new stencil. So to make a new stencil, I'm going to go over to the left side of my screen. I'm going to go to More Shapes and choose New Stencil from the drop-down menu. Now from here, I can take a shape that I have customized, including changing the behavior, or in this case, I might also want to resize it a little bit. So let me go ahead and make this shape perfect so that what I'm reusing is exactly what I'm looking for. I click and drag that into my stencil. And when I drag it into my stencil, I can go ahead and name that thing. So now it's called Master 2. I'm going to right click. I'm going to choose Rename the Master. I'm going to give it a name that makes sense, like Rounded Rectangle, for example. And I also need to go ahead and save the stencil itself. I'm going to name the stencil and put it on the desktop. Perfect. Now I have a perfectly reusable rounded corner rectangle that does not actually change the routing of my connectors. As I overlay this on top of various connectors in various different positions, nothing happens.